I just wanted to come and share what's been going on in my life and stuff. And I've been keeping a huge secret from everyone here on YouTube, that is. I'm pregnant. Uh, I'm three months right at three months now i wanted to wait until i was full uh 12 weeks but i wanted to vlog about it and just come and say hey i'm having a baby you guys and i want to share the experience with you um i'm going to do pregnancy vlogs i don't exactly know how often i can't commit to that for sure but or to how often they're going to be. Um, I highly doubt that I will be taking the camera in the delivery room or anything like that. But then again, I may change my mind. I don't know just yet. But what I do know is that um, in the last two to three outfits of the days, they're actually maternity outfits. Um, and yeah so i'm going to start doing maternity outfits and things like that for you guys also um so my due date is march the first and like i said um right at three months now the uh i personally didn't find out myself until i was right at a month in um, at the time, I hadn't even missed a period. I just thought that my symptoms were period-related. They're very similar to period uh, symptoms. It's so crazy. Like, I even was stocked up on my feminine products and everything. I just thought, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to start any day now. I didn't even, I wasn't even late or nothing. I just kept having these symptoms of being tired you know, kind of bloaty, kind of crampy feeling, um, and it was just strange, and I told my nanny this, and she said, you know, that sounds like you're pregnant, and I was just like, yeah, right, because John and I have been married for seven, over seven years, together for over ten years, and we've been trying to conceive for over a little over four years now uh that's a long time so at the point that you know at that my point in time now and plus i'm 26 i i feel like my clock was ticking and i was scared that i was never going to be able to have a baby and me and john had kind of come to terms with that and was like okay if it never happens for us it never happens for us We'll be happy and we'll just have lots of fur babies and that'll be that and um, that'll be our life. So we had both come to terms with that and that was literally like a month before I found out I was pregnant. We were both like, okay, maybe it's just not going to happen for us. We'll stop worrying about it. We'll stop trying so hard. Things like that. And uh, <clears throat> I know some of you aren't religious, but I do go to church. I belong to a Methodist church. I try to go every Sunday to church. And um, I also attend a women's meeting at church as well. And there we pray for like the women in the church and things like that. And in May, our lesson was on Hannah in the Bible and how she prayed and prayed and prayed for um, the Lord to bless her with a baby. She wanted a baby. And he gave her the desires of her heart. And in 1 Samuel uh, chapter 1, verse 27, that Bible verse is, For this child I have prayed, and the Lord gave me the desires of my heart. And that Bible verse just sticks with me, you know, and they um she even said because she knew that we were trying to have a baby and there's actually it's so crazy i feel like that church is meant for me and my family because at the time well before i was pregnant there is 
ladies in the church that haven't conceived, could not uh, conceive, um, and they're older now, and they maybe adopted a child or this and that, um, but there is other women, younger women, not younger than me, but just young women that want a child, and we all go to that church, and it's so crazy because there's a lot of almost infertility in that church, and I feel like we were put there to comfort and be there for one another. So, in that, that women's meeting, we had that lesson, and the leader of the group, she said, okay, this uh, lesson this month will make Abby the prayer focus and um, she said I don't know if you're ready or not but you're going to have a baby and you know at that point I'd honestly I'd kind of lost faith and everything and like I said at that point me and John was just okay with just never having a baby and um, you know because we just thought well maybe it's just not in the cards for us but Literally, like, after I went to the doctor, after I found out that, you know, I took a positive pregnancy test, um, after I went to the doctor and stuff, like, and they counted up, like, when the baby was conceived, it literally was conceived a week after that prayer went up. So, to all you ladies that are watching my channel, that have infertility problems, um, and you've just been trying for a really long time, do not give up hope. I tried and tried and tried for a really long time. And here I am now. I'm three months pregnant. You know, nothing's wrong. You know, that I can tell. It's healthy. Uh, heartbeat is 193. And I'm just so grateful to be a mommy. I'm going to be a mommy. I'm so happy about that. So don't ever give up hope don't ever give up faith and continue to pray um just pray and believe it you have to believe it and um here i am you know I, i'm living proof that prayer works so don't you ever give up and i wanted to share with you guys also um like i said i was like a month pregnant before i even knew myself and um john well my nanny said that and we went out and i, I got like three pregnancy tests and I waited to take them the next morning and I was like just laid them on the bathroom counter and you know I've had so many negative tests that I was just going to walk away from it and I like just decided okay I'm just gonna look down on it and as soon as I took the test and laid on the counter it was positive like so I was already far enough along pregnancy tests were picking it up right away um there was like no waning time it was pregnant and then john was like well those were kind of cheap tests so i want to go get the first response and the accuclear he'd seen all these commercials and um he bought me like seven more tests the ones that are in the value packs for like first response and stuff and uh yeah so I took 10 tests at home that were all positive and I had to wait another like month or so before I could get in the doctor because here, I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but here they want you to wait six weeks until they know you're six weeks pregnant before they'll see you. I don't know why that is, but because I didn't know how far along I was, you know, I had to wait extra time to get into the doctor and, uh, I got in and I actually got my first ultrasound at eight weeks and like three days. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of those. I'm going to insert some pictures. I'll show them to you and I'll insert pictures of them. I don't care to share them with you. It's special to me and I want to share it with you. I mean, YouTube's been a part of my life for a really long little stretch here. So I'm going to share them with you. And uh, I'm just totally grateful for this baby. I'm so thankful. I thank God every single day that I have this baby growing inside of me. It's so special. I've never felt love like this. Like, especially for the little person that's not even here yet. And I just love the little baby so much. And, um, I would show you my belly, but I'm not really showing because, you know, I'm plus size and, 
Um, so, but as soon as I start showing, I will insert pictures in the vlogs as well. I also want to do a haul of baby stuff that I've already bought. Even though I don't know the sex yet, I've still been kind of buying stuff. Everyone gets excited and you want to buy things. And, uh, I've also received some gifts as well, but, uh... I want to share those with you guys and right now they're in the bedroom that's their floor is being redone so everything's just a mess and you know and I've been buying diapers and things like that as soon as I can get access back to my things then I'm going to do a haul and they'll also be in the form of a pregnancy vlog as well I go to the doctor my second appointment is next week and then I will be three months. I'll be 12 weeks pregnant then. And here, um, I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorite ones in the ultrasound. Uh, here's one. And I know you probably can't make heads or tails of that, but I'll we'll cover my name and stuff up here. Um, here's the head, little arms, legs, it's a little butt, the umbilical cord is there. How cute is that? That's my little baby. And, uh, this is also one of my favorite ones. I just adore this one. And, once again, I'm sorry for all the pesky flies. Actually, it's just one fly and it just keeps going around. But, um, here's the back of the baby. So, the head, and you can see the arms and the legs, and it's a little butt again. I just, oh, how cute. I just have so much love for this little baby. I can't wait to meet the baby. So, I don't really know exactly when the baby will be here, but my due date is March the 1st. And... Yeah, um, it's been a, an experience. Uh, so far, uh, I have been having cravings, and they've been pretty, not crazy, but they've been pretty normal, like chicken and dumplings. Um, I was craving wings there for a really long while, hot dogs, um, and with the wings, like I make John go to Sunny's Barbecue. I don't know if everyone has a Sunny's Barbecue or not, but it's a restaurant here. And um, I would make him pick me wings up. And one day I was like, why aren't wings wrapped in bacon? And he just thought that was the funniest thing ever. But it was like a craving I was having. And um, let's see what else. Pancakes. And I, what I've learned with pregnancy cravings, it's like they don't go away until you eat that something you're craving. And then, I don't care if it's like a week later, like I was still craving like pancakes. And then I finally eat them and I'm over my, don't even want to think about eating a pancake. And, uh, and at first too, like the thoughts of sliced cheese, which it kind of still makes me kind of sick now to think about, um, the thoughts of sliced cheese are really repulsing to me but as of right now um i stopped drinking caffeine so i haven't been in taking any caffeine um for morning sickness though i found that and i stopped this though now i don't drink it now but a little bit of coke um helps with the morning sickness because i was having quite a bit of morning sickness throughout the entire day as well and uh now that's pretty much gone the morning sickness for me is kind of gone but the um the tiredness is not i'm extremely tired all the time and uh i'm just tired i'm tired right now but i wanted to film this video for you guys uh oh and also if you like my makeup Then I do will have a tutorial. This will be up before that. But I did film a tutorial. It's using e.l.f., Wet n Wild, Spectrum Cosmetics, uh, a MAC lipstick, things like that. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Started using skin creams. I'm going to order the Bio Oil offline, probably eBay, for stretch marks uh, for my skin, you know. And I've been drinking lots of water. 
and just trying not to be dehydrated and I eat literally probably like every two hours but smaller meals uh, so my stomach never is empty like the doctor said don't really ever let your stomach get empty like carry crackers and stuff with you um oh and like greasy food and stuff like I love like french fries and stuff can't hardly eat that stuff now uh it doesn't agree with me right now being pregnant I guess is why and um it just makes me really sick greasy foods too uh I eat lots more fresh uh fruits and vegetables now I'm so glad that we have a garden and uh things that you know, we have fresh green beans and corn on the cob, cucumbers and tomatoes. And I'm really thankful for that because it just gives you something to eat right then and there. You don't have to, oh, well, I'm going to go to McDonald's. You know, you can eat healthy. And, uh, yeah. So, next week, I go to the doctor again. My second uh, pregnancy visit. Or I, I don't know what you call it, but uh, my second doctor's visit, nonetheless. And uh, I go, uh, I will get another ultrasound, so I will share that with you in the next vlog. And uh, anything else new, uh, and possibly that haul if I can get to my things that I've bought and have been gifted. Also, I'm going to start walking because I heard that that's the difference between a three hour uh, pushing baby out and a 20 minute push baby out um kind of thing so yeah so let's hope so i really hope that i can do natural birth uh, my mom couldn't and she had three c-sections and um and on top of that her blood type is like rh factor so she had to take shots to carry um my sisters with the first baby it's okay uh your body doesn't try to turn on it um and when you have that blood type your body is uh looks uh, at the baby the fetus as uh, like a foreign object and your body will attack it and literally just break the baby down you won't be able to carry a baby you won't be able to um do a full-term pregnancy but if you take shots for it, they know if you they know that you have Rh factor, which there's blood work in pregnancy, so they know your blood type, um, and you take shots for it. So um, I'm good in that area, but like I really hope that um, I'm able to have the baby naturally versus having a C-section because I want uh, to experience it, you know. And, uh, and I don't mean, like, uh, completely natural, like, I might have the epidural. I don't know yet. I don't know what kind of labor I'm going to have until we get down the road when we get there. And, uh, but I really hope to be able to have a natural birth. And I'm going to breastfeed. Uh, that might be too much information. I don't know. But I just really love the benefits that breastfeeding can give my child. And... I want my child to have the best, you know, so I really want to give breastfeeding a fighting and fair chance. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'll update you guys as much as I can. I do plan on still making videos. My plan is to have videos on backup, like for when I have the baby so I can enjoy baby um, and heal without, you know, trying to do videos and stuff. So when the time comes next year when I have the baby, I'm going to have a backup of videos so I can load videos for you guys so I won't be completely missing in action any, you know, any time. And, yeah. So... Thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, I will update as much as I can. Uh, and hope you enjoyed the vlog.